Okay, welcome to Quick Screen Trading Tutorial on Spreading. I'm going to show you calendar spreads and then synthetic spreads. I'm going to show you how to pull up quotes and execute on each of them. Uh, first, I'll do the calendar spreads. I'll show you how to pull up quotes and execute on that. Um, as you can see on my screen here, I have two price ladders on the top left corner, a quote board on the top right corner. As you can see, I have some outright some calendar spreads and some synthetic spread quotes in there. I will show you how to pull up additional ones of those in a second. I also have a spread matrix here and a spread chart. What I will show you first here is the quote board. Um, to pull up symbols, if you don't already know the symbol, you can right click under the contract column and go to contract lookup. From there, you could type in what you're looking for. We'll say we're looking for crude. And you would scroll down and look for the uh, symbol that you're looking for. And once you find it, you can go ahead and select it. We'll just grab something for an example here. We'll go with uh, pit traded crude all the months will highlight you could pick the month you want and then the year and click OK and you could see it pops up on the screen there to remove a quote you could double click on the symbol hit delete hit enter it goes away outrights you could see I already have listed here the April May June calendar spreads we'll go ahead and retype one of these in so I show you how to do it let's remove one we now know that the symbol for crude is ECL Okay, let's go for the first month in our spread leg, which we want to be, let's say, June. There it is. So what we'll do is we'll actually just continue to type instead of actually selecting this out of the list. So ECLM12 for the year. And then you type in a colon. That's going to tell the system I want to look at a spread. Now it's going to pull up all the symbols with the second legs in the spread. Let's say we want a June-July crude spread, so we're going to go down the list, and we see right here, June-July, SP in the brackets means spread. You can see here, BF in brackets mean butterfly, so there's al also other strategies listed. And you can see here, we have an inner commodity spread. Let's go back up to June-July. We double-click on it, it pulls it up here, and we can see it's trading, last net, bid ask and the volume. To execute on these it's left click buy right click sell as in anywhere else when you're entering orders on uh, quote boards and price ladders and charts and you could do that in the quote monitor on the last column the bid column or the ask column. So to execute a calendar spread let's go ahead and put a bid in for the June July. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to join the bid here at uh, 29. We'll left click on it to place a buy order. Buy ticket comes up by 10 June July at 29. All right, we could adjust quantities here, adjust prices here. Let's say we actually want to make it 30 under. Then click OK or yes. And now you could see in my order entry column that the buy 10 June July spread at 30 under is working. If you want to modify the order from this screen, you can right click on the diamond go to cancel cancel replace let's say we want to change the order make it even further away from the market so 35 under click yes yes I'm sure it cancel replaced it if we want to see this order on a price ladder use the same symbol you used in the quote board so let's move over to this one on the right ECL M 12 colon N 12 enter you can see my order working there. My bid for 10 lot 35 under. You could also right click on the order from here, cancel it. It's, it's out in both places. Now, the spread matrix, you could do the same type of execution. Right now we're on arithmetic. You could see by the checkbox here. What you would do is you type in ECL, hit enter. Don't worry about the months. The same goes for the horizontal. ECL, hit enter. Don't worry about the months. Even though April shows up on both, it doesn't matter because you see the entire calendar here you look along the left hand side where it says April, May, June, July, August and you could use the scroll bar to go even further down these are all the outrights bid in green, ask in red 
last in white, volume in gray. Same goes for the top, it's the same. It starts at May, though, and all across the top you have your outrights. And in the middle, you have your spreads. If you match up, say May to June, here's your bid, your ask, your last, and your volume. Right now it's on arithmetic, so it's only doing the math between the, the bid, ask, and last, and it doesn't have any volume. If we take arithmetic off, put exchange traded on, here's the actual exchange traded spread. So let's say we want to do another June, July. We move our cursor to match up the June to the July. Let's get it into view here. And you can see here, we're uh, 29 under, 28, 29 last. We can left click on the bid, join the bid, change the price if you want. Go to 30 under, either hit enter or click yes. And there you go, order's working. And you can see up here in your quote monitor that the June, July is also working again. Okay, let's right click and cancel that order. Now, the same goes for charting. We could pull up a standard chart to pull up an exchange traded spread. Let's do ECLM12 colon N12. Hit enter. And here is our exchange traded spread chart. Now, at the top right of the corner of the chart, you could see if you pull your mouse over to the top right here, a little icon shows up and it gives you the opportunity to view a order entry column. You can make it bigger or smaller or completely make it go away. We're going to make it nice and big to show you. And you can see this gray bar here that allows you to left click buy, right click sell. We're going to go ahead and place another spread order on the June, July exchange traded spread by left clicking. It'll pull up the order ticket, you click yes, and there you go, you're working a buy order there. And you can see again, the order is on my quote board. All right, I'll go ahead and close this window. Let's go ahead and cancel the order. You could also cancel the order from the chart too, the same way, by right clicking on the diamond. Okay, that's about it for exchange trade spreads. I'll touch base real quick with um, the synthetic spreading. Uh, synthetic spreading you're going to have to activate. Okay, there's a couple things you're going to have to do. The very first thing you're going to have to do is go up to order entry, go to order entry properties. You're going to have to click the contingent orders tab and you're going to have to enable client side contingency placement. All right, after that's enabled, you click OK. Now, go to your quote board and go to the quotes monitor menu, go down to properties and you will see a spread legger tab. Make sure that this says place legs order. You could select w how you want your legs to be placed. Leg one, leg two, leg three, leg four, leg five, leg six. Let's say you're doing a butterfly, you got six legs, you could do that. If you're just doing a two-legged spread, you could do limit, limit. You could put your pay-up ticks here. Right now I'm set to zero ticks. If I wanted to pay up uh, one tick worse on the back month, I could do that. We'll leave it at zero for now. Review the order before placing. Use default order quantity. As you can see, I have a 10 lot up here. Okay. Go to columns, and what you're going to need to do is go down this list of available columns, highlight and move over to the right by using this button here, the auto buy and auto sell columns. Click apply, you'll see the auto buy and auto sell columns appear. Now, for a synthetic spread, you're going to type in the first leg of the spread and then separate it with a hyphen and then the second leg of the spread. So let's say we wanted a June, July. We're going to type in ECLM12 hyphen ECLN12. Hit enter. Now you can see I have a synthetic last bid and ask there. It should also match if we s changed in the spread matrix down below here from exchange traded to arithmetic. Now we have a June, July We'll move this over so we can see it. June, July, 30 to 26. Okay. Now, for execution of these, you have to use the auto buy and auto sell columns. As you can see, I could individually highlight these. So let's say we wanted to buy the June, sell the July at, I don't know, we'll go 35 under. So double click on the auto buy column, sell, and you'll see the cursor start blinking in there. Type in this price. Make sure you use a valid price. So 
we're going to use minus 0.35. We're going to do 35 under. Hit enter. And you will see that a pencil shows up. That means the contingency is placed. The order actually didn't go to the exchange. It's being held on your computer. You can see my one leg here. I'm buying 10 of the June. Let's punch in the July as well. ECLN12. And you can see my cell of 10 on the July. And you can see they're empty diamonds. That means it's a contingency order that's being held on your computer. And once these conditions are met, then the orders will go in and be placed into the into the book and be filled. And you can see on my price ladder here, let's change our legs. ECLM12. And let's go ECN12. Now you can see my legs. I have a bit of 10 here. Empty diamond again. It's a contingency. And here's my ask of 10 on the July. Empty diamond again. Again, it's being held on the computer. To, to see the spread orders that are being held on your computer, you're going to need to go over to the pencil here and your quote board. Double click on the pencil. It brings up a, what contingencies you're working. Right now, I only have one spread working. It's contingency order number one, June, July crude, and it's online. What you're going to do is double click on that to pull up the actual spread. You have an activation price set of 35 under. Order type is limits, and I have zero offset on both. Okay, I can modify the order from here if I wanted to. I could change the quantity. I could change my pay up ticks. I could change the price by modifying it here. We'll go to 36 under, make it further away from the market. Click OK and click OK. OK. You can cancel the order by any means. You could right click and cancel on your price ladder. That'll cancel both legs. You could right click and cancel on your order entry. And that'll get it out of the market as well. Same applies to the spread matrix for order entry. Um, you don't have an auto buy, auto sell column. So what you can actually do is left click, right click on your bid ask last. So let's say I want to do June, July. I could left click to buy at the bid here. I could join the bid 31 by left clicking. Now you can see I'm buying 10 June, selling 10 July. I have a couple prices it wants to work at. You could click these asterisks to pull up order previews on both legs. And you click OK. And it places them both. And as you can see, I got filled. And there you go. Now you can see I have a I have a spread position, June, July crude. I synthetically leg these orders into the market. All right. That is about it for synthetic spreading um, and exchange-traded spreading.